This video covers steps for installing the Graco Forever Extend-to-Fit Platinum 4-in-1 Car Seat Rear-Facing with Seat Belt. We'll go over step-by-step -step instructions to help ensure your car seat is installed securely. Before getting started, have your car seat manual and your vehicle's manual on hand. And make sure your vehicle is on level ground. Graco supports the American Academy of Pediatrics and National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's car seat guidelines. Please review this information before proceeding. Now we will show you the steps for a rear-facing installation with seat belt. First, push the base against the vehicle's seat back in the rear seat. Make sure at least 80% of the base is on the vehicle seat. Check the level indicator to ensure the bubble is in the blue zone for rear-facing car seat installation. Adjust the recline if necessary until the bubble is completely within the blue zone. For rear-facing, you can use recline positions 1 through 4. If the recline is still not in the blue zone, refer to your owner's manual for additional options. Thread your vehicle's seat belt through the rear-facing belt path marked with a blue label. Buckle it, making sure the seat belt lies flat and isn't twisted. Lock the seat belt by pulling the shoulder belt all the way out and then let it retract back in. You'll hear a clicking sound letting you know it's locked. Make sure you hear a click. To tighten the seat belt, press firmly down in the center of the car seat. While pressing down in the center of the car seat, pull on the shoulder belt. To tighten while feeding the slack back in the seat belt retractor while still pushing on the center of the car seat. Do this until you can't feed any more slack into the seat belt retractor. Finally, go through this checklist to make sure installation is correct. Test for tightness. Grab the sides of the seat where the seat belt is routed and slide the seat side to side and front to back. The seat shouldn't move more than one inch. If the seat moves more than one inch, push on the seat and further tighten the seat belt. Check the level indicator one more time to make sure the bubble is still completely within the blue zone. If no longer in the blue zone, repeat the installation process. Check the harness. For rear-facing car seat, harness slots should be at or below the child's shoulders. Raise or lower the harness as needed to ensure the harness is in the right position. Check the chest clip. Once buckled in, ensure the chest clip is at armpit level on your child. Raise or lower as needed. Do the pinch test. Tighten the harness strap snugly by pulling on the front adjuster strap. If you can pinch the harness strap at the child's shoulders, the straps are too loose. If you have all check marks, then you have a successful installation.